So I have had a busy day today, a lot of school, going to the gym. Now I'm gonna head out to dinner with some of my friends. This is our first time meeting up in the new year. So looking forward to it. We're gonna have some pasta, some risotto, Italian food. Sounds good to me. So yeah, I'm all dressed up and ready to go. So this is my dinner outfit. Just really simple. Got a small bag. And that's it, I have some hoops on. birthday gifts and one of the gifts I made a photo album online of all pictures from like the past five or six years so hopefully they like it so I just got back from being in Waikiki with my friend Justin and um, we stopped at a duty-free store he was showing me this place it's really beautiful and we were trying different perfumes colognes and everything so I actually picked something up so I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you. So I got something from Diptyque. I've always heard of this brand. It's a French brand, but I wasn't planning on buying a perfume because I just don't really buy perfumes in general. I always get them as gifts. So I got the Rose, Roses ones. And this is the Eau de Toilette. And I didn't know that with perfumes, Eau de Toilette, um, means like other people can smell it but you can't really smell it or it's not as strong to you versus eau de perfume like you can smell it on yourself but other people don't smell it as much so at this this is pretty box even though bag has some weight to it but I don't usually spend money on perfumes. I usually get them on sale at Sephora. But I thought, you know, I, I don't treat myself all the time. At least that's what I tell myself. So, it's a really pretty bottle. This is what it looks like. And it has the spray top too. And it's just like, it's supposed to be a roses, different kinds of roses and it smells really good but let me tell you what the top notes are so it's supposed to have rose damascena rose centifolia and then the base is lychee accord but it just it just smells so good and then even justin was saying that like it's really natural it's clean i just like it a lot it's strong too but I'll probably only need one spray of this, but this is the only the 50 milliliter one. Yeah, it's my little fragrance haul. Making chicken sandwiches, Name the chicken. These are my fried chicken sandwiches. So I just got some Starbucks. I got the venti brown sugar chicken espresso with oat milk and vanilla cold foam.
made egg toast on sourdough bread with cheese and then I have prosciutto on top. Good evening. I have all my skincare on, so that's why I have no makeup. But I'm gonna do a little Sephora haul for you. I only bought all these things because I wanted to try different products and I signed up for a credit card, so I got 25% off my first purchase. So let's get into it. First off, I went in there initially for this Fenty concealer that just came out. It's the hydrating one that just released. They didn't even have it on display. They brought it out from the back, but I was matched to the shade 300N, which is like a neutral color. And it's just such a natural finish. It is very hydrating. I can say I tried it once and the shade is perfect that you can use it like under your eyes, but also all around your face. So highly recommend this but we'll see how it turns out as time goes on. Then I went in for the YSL brown mascara, but I asked the girl there like what she thought about it and she said it has like a lot of fragrance in it and I have very sensitive skin and eyes. So she recommended the Rare Beauty one. She told me to get the small one because you never really finished the full one. And so far this is very volumizing and works well with my Asian eyelashes, which I really like. Plus it's really cute packaging. So highly recommend that and with the 25 off this was only like eight dollars which is crazy and then i needed to replenish a product the benefit no not the benefit the glossier boy brow this is in the color brown it's a good brow gel just like i don't really fill in my eyebrows that often anymore i usually just put brow gel and that's pretty much all i do so that it fills it in but also like raises the hairs so that they look laminated so i got that and then this is what i went in for initially is a body moisturizer like body butter so this one is the youth to the people one it is vegan apparently but it's the hydrate and glow dream body butter it has the scent yuzu green tea and blonde woods it's about eight ounces it has like a really clean smell. This is what it looks like. It has like a really clean smell and it feels really nice on the skin. So I thought I would like it. I just wanted to test out how it smelt first before I purchased it. But yeah, and then the girl was like, do you want to add anything on? Because I was like, I was less than $100 plus I returned something. So I saw in the corner of my eye, I'm like, oh, you know, let me get the glow screen from super goop because i use this for a really long time and it leaves this like luminous sheen to your face where it kind of gives you a tint but also it you just look really glowy this has spf 40 which is great and i bought the drunk elephant bronzing drops and i like it but it's like an extra step that you have to put it into your hand and mix it with your moisturizer or sunscreen so i just thought like this is an all-in-one product it does the job so actually the shade that i got before the first time i tried this is a lot darker than this she recommended this for medium skin tones so yeah and then i always ask for skincare samples whenever i go to sephora so she gave me the pharmacy makeup melt away cleansing balm so this is like a little balm that you use but i'm always iffy about using oils on my face because i feel like they'll, they'll break me out because i have very sensitive skin but she gave me that and then she also gave me the miss dior eau de parfum little perfume sample so cute it has like a little bow and everything on it and this is perfect because i can actually display it on my perfume stand that i have with all my perfumes so that was my whole haul super excited to use my products plus i got a good deal on them actually i've i realized i do need like the fenty foundation stick i'm almost out of that and also the charlotte tilbury powder but i'm gonna hold off on that because i just spent a good amount but i got a good deal on it so that's my home